Right guys, so in this video, we're gonna go ahead and create the dribble section. Now for this dribble section, we're gonna take a little bit of a different approach. Now this is going to still follow the grid. As you can see, it is following the grid, but we kind of want to, you know, constrain this and restrict it to the center of the screen because for now, till now, what we have been doing is that we've been saying to give, you know, to get a max width of 19, 20 pixels, right? That's not what we want to do, particularly with this section. Why? There's no reason, it's just a design decision and a personal preference, right? So we're just gonna say dribble, we're gonna have this top section and then we're gonna have this image, you know, of your dribble screenshots and we're gonna add a very fun interaction to this. So uh, let's just go ahead and design this. It's super simple and super straightforward. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna start off by getting some text. So we're gonna need these two texts because that's what we need. I'm gonna copy that and paste it over here and let's get back our grid so we can actually see. Now, obviously we want to have them, you know, in a grid, you know, which is like 10 columns, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 10. And the size of the 10 column adds up to 1076 pixels, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and just call this dribble. And then I'm gonna go to the reference. I'm gonna copy this and, uh, you know, replace this with this. And I'm going to kind of make this two lines um, and also just change the paragraph to 18 pixels. All right. And we can kind of go ahead and make a, take it, make sure that it takes up a good amount of space. All right. It's pretty cool. And I'm going to move this a little bit up, make sure that everything is aligning to the left over here. And uh, we can make this 24 pixels, right? And then I'm going to grab this one, which is the button. I'm going to copy that and I'm going to bring it over here and the distance between this is gonna be like 40 pixels. So I'm gonna go ahead and reduce this to like 40 pixels. And I'm gonna make sure that this color is white so with that we can see it. And uh, yeah, and then I'm just gonna say, follow me on dribble. And you're gonna go ahead and expand this. Yeah, there we go. So that's pretty much it, right? I mean, we don't wanna do a lot of stuff. So, and also just gonna go ahead and shrink this over here, right? So yeah, now, also, we want to make sure that this is 120 pixels from the top, right? So 120 pixels. Perfect. And we can go ahead and group this entire section. All right. Up next, um, we want to create this thing. Now, this actually is sort of something that I created in Figma. So it's uh, super simple. As you can see, we've got a height of 37 and we've got these dots, which are like 12 pixels, kind of trying to replicate the browser. So I'm going to do that by getting the grids back on, grids back again, and I'm press R to create a rectangle. And we're just going to go ahead and make it like this. Um, the height is going to be 36. All right. Or was it 36? Yeah, it was 36. It's 37, but yeah, 36, fine. And the thing is, I want uh, this to be a different color. All right, so we can see it. And the corners, um, you can actually add the rounding over here. So I'm gonna add like four pixels. Uh, but the problem here is that I don't want it to round on all the corners. I want it to round only on a couple of them. So if I click on this button, it goes, it's gonna break that up for me and I can choose which one I want. So I can just set the bottom two to zero and we'll get something that looks like this. And I think I'm gonna go set this to eight instead of four. And cool, I'm gonna press, uh, uh, you know, the o, o to get a circle. And uh, I'm gonna make this 12 pixels by 12 pixels, all right? And I'm gonna probably choose a color like, you know, light gray or dark gray, should be fine. And I'm gonna kind of move this in the center and I'm gonna move it 16 pixels from the left. This is just a personal preference, all right? And I'm gonna go ahead and kind of make this like, eight pixels and eight pixels, or even maybe six. I'm going to select these three and just reduce this down to six. All right. And group them together. And yeah, that's pretty much it, right? We've gone ahead and created this sort of a browser illustration. And now we have to go ahead and get this image. I'm going to copy this image and I'm going to paste it over here. And I'm just going to move this up like so, right? And um, move it over here. And also the rounding for the top, I'm going to set that to zero comma zero. All right. Now, um, the next thing is to kind of set properties, right? So let's go ahead and grab this section and we're going to go ahead and start setting up properties for this. So I'm going to bring that over here. Okay. And uh, so for the projects over here, I'm going to call this dribble and I'm going to call this also dribble. And now the image height over here is around 640. So I'm going to go ahead and set that to 640. All right. So I'm going to say image height, 640 pixels, right? 
And uh, that is pretty much it. Like there's nothing more to it. The only thing we've got to do is just kind of group all these together and uh, make sure that the spacing here, it's 56. We want to set it to 120 because I think that's a, that's a good number, right? And uh, yeah, that looks pretty good. Now all you have to do is just right click and say group uh, frame selection and hold alt and shift and sorry alt and cont control and move this over like so and uh, you know move it up as well so now that it's 120 pixels from the top and also 120 pixels from the bottom so we've got this next dribble section the other thing that we want to say is that the um the section width is going to be 1076 pixel it's not going to be minimum it's not going to be maximum it is going to be uh, 1076 and actually let's you know it, let's actually set this to maximum max section width um, 1076 pixels right and uh, obviously the width is going to be 100% because it, it needs to take up 100% of the space available but it maxes out at 1076 right and that's pretty much it for the dribble section and uh, in the next section in the next video we're going to go ahead and create this so I'll see you guys in the next video